Good day YouTube, welcome to another video. This video is about the analysis tool and also talking about some techniques in creating car fenders. For, so we'll look, have a look at this sample car here. I'll just hide the view planes. Okay, so this car here, I'll go, go and edit the car part. Okay, so this car here for the fenders, um, this, this example uh, use a number of surfaces to create a car fenders. So I first created two main shape, um, one going all the way to there, and also another shape all the way to the bottom. And then I trim it here and trim it there. And I create another surface here and then create a blend curve between them. Actually this surface here and here was one surface. So I create another curve um, blending across and created that surface. I trim it out and then it leaves that um, there is a it leaves a four surface edge there so that allows us to blend it down so that's one technique um, I used to create the fenders but I didn't like this technique because you make some changes and it affects the whole model and um, it doesn't good later on so the car fenders is often what people see the most and we want it to look really nice but also I want to show you a neat tool here in analysis there is a curvature color graph that will let us uh, check the curvature of the surfaces so it's pretty neat um, we are use this tool to anal analyze if there's a lot of color change that means there is a unnatural change in curvature so if you look at the front part here there's a lot of strange colors here so I need to go in and fix that part there so that one doesn't look too nice alright and also actually for this surface here there was some issue yes yeah, so if I click there there's a lot of color change but um, I'm going to show you another another version. So this is a different technique and use. Let me activate this model. And let's go in and edit. Okay, so this is my latest version of the car. And I was able to create this surface, this car fender with only two surfaces. So it's a lot more simple and it's I think it's really a nice way to do it um, I, I need to unhide one of the curve okay so what I did there was actually what I did here was so there's a technique to create a curve you can create a curve by holding shift to snap on and if you hold shift and click here and then keep going you are able to create a curve that continues to all the way to the end so that creates one curve expanding all the way across if I go edit except that um, I can create a surface actually I can I can make sure this curve is curvature with this curve as well. So if I select that curve, um, okay, okay, I'll just move that across. And if I change that to curvature, it blends with that surface, and we created a line here with this line. I'll just bring this to the edge here. 
but basically with that line there you can select the full edge to create your surface and after that you can go here project your curve onto the surface and trim that bit off so if I delete this surface um, that's how it was but um, this curve is actually one curve across to create a surface here you need to hide this curve hide this curve and go in and select the full edge that edge that edge that edge and you can create a nice surface that blends across with only two surfaces and it should blend nicely and also um, it's a good idea to split up your surface if there is some issue with the surface if I go to surface edit here and you click the surface you can see the control point spreads nicely um, when this was one surface it created a zigzag effect and didn't result too well so what I did there sometimes you need to split up your surface into two and it looks more clean but um, that's some tip for creating the, the car fenders so you can use the technique that travels all the way across to create one simple surface for your car fender and or you can use another technique to create many patches that blend between each other and and blend them using it's called I think it's called washout technique so um, yeah it's a good idea to experiment and check your surface so the an analysis tool curvature is good to check the, the surface of your car and also if you go to surface edit as well you can see where the controller points are and that's actually really important because if you have even distributed control points that will help your car surface look a lot better so you want something uh, as perfect as, the, as these so perfect control points but that's the end of the video I hope you like this quick video and I'll create a quick render to show you what I'm up to so far so there you go there's a quick rendering the surface are quite more smooth and a lot better I uh, hope you liked the video have a have a great day see you later